In this video we shall discuss how to use join operator with columns to rows transformation. In the first task we have to show all books along with their authors, but books titles duplication is not allowed here. So this is the idea. You see that this book has two authors, but there is no duplication of information of this book. This book also has two authors, but this book is presented only once here. To achieve that result in MySQL we have to use group concat function. That function does the next. Imagine a book has two authors, author 1 and author 2. And this information is transformed into one cell with author 1 here and author 2 here. We may also control the ordering here and the separator information. And in order for group concat to work we have to group all information by some field BID in our case. In Microsoft SQL Server the idea is almost the same, but unlike in MySQL there is no group concat function here, but there is string egg function here. And it does exactly the same thing. That column with for instance two authors, author1 and author2, is transformed into a cell with the first and the second author. And like in MySQL we can control ordering here and separator here. Also pay attention to that fact that MSSQL requires that if a field is listed here in select part and it is not an aggregation function or something like that, that field should be mentioned here in group by section. Of course for this particular query adding this field here doesn't influence the result, but in some cases it may influence the result, so please be attentive. In Oracle we may achieve the same result using list egg function. But in some rare cases, if your DBMS is configured for some specific character encoding, you may have to convert the information first into raw format and then convert it back to some human readable format. This is not required for most cases, but for some cases this may be required. Here you may just experiment on your own DBMS setup. The rest of this logic is the same. We may control ordering, we may control separator, we have to use grouping. And Oracle also requires for all fields mentioned in select section, if those fields are not aggregate functions, to be mentioned here in group by section. And let's see a simplified explanation. If a book has only one author, that information is just copied to the final result. But if a book has several authors, that information is transformed into such a form. In the next task we shall go deeper. We have to show all books along with their authors and genres. And we cannot allow authors names to be duplicated or books titles to be duplicated or something like that. So this is the expected result. You see that this book has two authors, but no duplication here. This book has two genres, but also no duplication here. And this book has two authors and two genres. And once again, it's just only one single row of a table. To achieve such a result in MySQL, we only have to use group concat function twice. The first function call uses author name. And the second function call uses gender name. Uh, this keyword distinct works for cases when a book has several authors and several genders. The rest of this logic is exactly the same as in the task 1. With Microsoft SQL Server the solution is not so simple. We cannot use string egg function twice in the same query. In other cases maybe we may, but in this particular case we may not. So we have to produce two queries. The first one shall combine books, titles and authors names. The second query shall combine books, titles and genre names. And then we have to join the results of that first and that second query. In Oracle we may follow the Microsoft SQL Server logic with common table expression or we may use another approach. Here we see subquery. And that query combines book names and author names. And then the result of that subquery is used as data source for the main query. Here we select that information about book, that information about book authors, and here we add information about book genres. 
And here is visual explanation. If a book has only one author and one genre, that information is just copied into final result. If a book has one author, that information just is deduplicated, and these two genres produce only one cell containing the information about the first and the second genre. And if a book has several authors, that information produces the next result, the author 1, the author 2. And these two genres produce the next result, the genre 1 and the genre 2. And such transformations are applied for all data in this data set.